Number 43. The effect of chlorofluorocarbons, such as C, Cl2F2, on the depletion of the ozone layer is well known. The use of substitutes, such as CH3CH2F, which is a gas, for the chlorofluorocarbons, have largely corrected the problem. Calculate the volume occupied by 10.0 grams of each of these compounds at STP. And then we have letter A out of the bunch. So in this case, we have 10.0 grams of CCL2F2, and we need to just find out what that volume is. So let's just list out everything that we got. We want to calculate the volume, right? So V equals question mark. They did give me the mass. So I'm just going to say that I have a mass of 10.0 grams of CCL2F2. And STP coming down here, this is basically hidden information for temperature and pressure. STP means standard temperature and pressure, and that's always 273 Kelvin and 1 atm. So by them just saying STP, you know that you have a temperature of 273 Kelvin and a pressure of 1 atm. Now, let's just see what we got, right? We only have one variable of each, right? We only got one volume, one temp, one pressure. There's no uh, double sets. So this is the ideal gas law, which is this one, right? PV equals NRT. And remember, all the units are contained in that R value. So that's why it's very, very, uh, uh, I guess it's very, very specific for the units that we need. The R value is 0 0.0821. Some of your professors or teachers might want you to know it as 0 0.08206, but in my mind, the 6 raises the, the 0 to a 1, and less numbers, the better. The units for the R constant is ATM times liter over mole times Kelvin. So it's got all those four units, and that's why it's very specific. So the pressure needs to be an ATM, and thank goodness it is. So that's a check. We're searching for the volume. The N is moles. Now, uh-oh, they gave us grams of CCL2F2. So the first thing is, is, you know, we have to convert the grams of the CCL2F2 into moles. But we know how to do that, right? Times by the ratio. Put the grams on the bottom, because we don't want that. Grams of CCL2F2 goes on the bottom, and the moles of CCL2F2 goes up on the top. And remember, a mole to gram relationship of the same compound is the periodic table. And one mole of the periodic table always equals whatever the mass is on the periodic table. So, periodic table's out, calc is out. Let's see what I get. 12.01 for carbon, plus two times... 35.45 plus 2 times 19. So I get 120.91. Cancel out the grams. And now we have 10 divided by 120.91. And I'll give it a couple of... Um, I'll give it a couple of decimals because this isn't the answer. So you don't want to round too much. So I'll just say this. And now I have moles of CCL2F2. And maybe I'll just bring this a little bit over here. Okay. So I have this. We know the R value. And the temperature has to be in Kelvin. And thank goodness it is. So we got that. Let's plug everything in and solve for V. So the pressure was 1. The volume is what we're solving for, so I'll just say that this is x, and then this is equal to the moles, 0 0.082706 times the R value of 0 0.0821 times the temperature, which is 273. And if we just want to get x by itself, it looks like we just have to divide by 1, which basically just means that we don't have to do anything, because anything divided by 1 is itself, but just to show you guys. And that will cancel this out. And now we have x equals, let's see, 
0.082706 times uh, 0.0821 times 273. And now I'm going to look for sig figs. Looks like they only gave me one number here, which was three sig figs. So I have to do three sig figs. So 1.85, and that's liters, because the volume is in liters in this formula. There it is, it's L. And there you go. So 1.85 liters of the CCL2F2. And there you go, guys. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I think there's a part B for this one, so just hang tight, and we'll get there. All right? So thank you so much, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.